From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied quite nicely during the trading session here on Tuesday. But there are some things that have me kind of wondering here. Uh, the first thing, of course, would be the gap that has yet to be filled. One would have to wonder whether there's going to be a lot of selling pressure there. Second thing is the fact that we've cracked the back of a couple of hammers. That's almost always a negative sign. A bounce from 2800 does, of course, make sense. You can see that it was an area of importance more than once. And at this point, I'm not sold. If we can get above this gap, about 2860, then okay. But until then, I'm a bit cautious. You can also make an argument for a trend line being broken. So are we going to find resistance there? That comes into play on uh, this next chart. So NASDAQ 100, we've broken a trend line. Go ahead and zoom in just a bit here. And there's a gap here and you can see that there's a trend line between here and the gap. We have not wiped out the losses from the previous session. This tends to be more of a beta play. So if this doesn't pick it up, more than likely the rest of the market won't. So let's pay attention, but I suspect we're gonna find a lot of resistance right here at the top of this candle around 2550. Probably end up being a selling opportunity. If we break the lows here, we could drop down to seven, uh, 7,000. Just as in the uh, S&P 500, a breakdown below 2,800 opens the door to 2,750, possibly even 27.